Why painting outside? Well, I get to feel the snow on my face and I get to just be completely part of my environment with nature, with everything around me. And it's just so beautiful. It's just to feel like a snowflake, to feel that land on my face, to feel my fingers, just to be a part of the world and everything around me. Thank you. Uh, painting outside in the winter, minus 34, minus 27, um, snowstorms, 10 centimeters of snow in a day. Uh, it's, it's not something you see every day, that's for sure. Um, I was very fortunate to have the citizen. I had uh, global international news. I had uh, CBC all in the day and and the Hill Times and a, and a couple others too. I've always I just I've had a lot of support and a lot of people encouraging me. I'm very blessed. Here the snow is really getting into the uh, into the painting, so it's it's a bit of a uh, <laughs> whatever you just. It's all about the process. It's all just about enjoying painting. In the end, something comes out of it. Well, at minus 34, the streets are pretty empty. Uh, even though it is uh, 11 o'clock there. Uh, it's snowing pretty hard, or a little bit. And your palette, there you go, I just laid out. I have a little brush because the paint get or the snow gets on so you just kind of tack it off a little bit and sweep it off if you want to work on a certain section and that helps. Uh, here, just, here you go, I start putting on the paint more, a little bit thicker and uh, away I go. Yeah, it's very snowy. Paint, kind of hard to see the paint. Palette starts getting a little bit more uh, buried a bit, but you work through it. The painting, you'll see snow kind of gets everywhere. Makes it a lot more difficult, but whatever. You can see all the snow just piled up on the, on the texture. Still working away. Really loving it. Really beautiful day today. Rather cold though. Anyways, snow is not easy. It's basically um, like sand, and if it gets into your into your paint, it's uh, it's, it's very problematic. Um, I don't really care. Uh, ultimately, I just wanted to be out there painting and and enjoying that moment, that stillness, that didn't matter, you know, uh, it's just about, about getting out of your comfort zone and, and, and living, and if the painting works or doesn't work, that's, that's really secondary. The important part is just being creative and, and, and being an artist, and not worrying about things, and it's uh, it's about sharing, it's about opening the walls to the studio and it's about not having walls and allowing people to, to participate and view what you're you're trying to uh, trying to live. I worked on this for about uh, three weeks and uh, it was pretty tough. There were some pretty hard days. There was a snowstorm where 10 centimeters of snow fell. But I kept going and I had a beautiful time with it. I, uh, I wanted to really make the paint go into the buildings and kind of web everything together like a spider's web as I've mentioned before and um, just find the freedom in the paint just enjoy the freedom of the paint 
when it's colder, the paint behaves a little bit differently. It becomes uh, more like spaghetti. Anyway, here's the painting. I tried pretty hard. And uh, there you go. Try to show you all the little details and things of what I was trying to accomplish. It's, uh, it's just the fun of making it all kind of go a little bit crazy in there, right? Particularly like that aspect. I feel that really worked for me. And then little touches of color here and there and forms and freedom. Anyways, I really enjoyed it. And thank you. Oh, some mornings are pretty hard to get out of bed and go to work when it's that crummy outside. But I love what I do. And I love painting. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I have other videos that are... Uh, there's links in the description below. And you can follow or follow me on Facebook. And uh, go to my website. and Please leave comments below. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much and, and happy painting.